one of the malware types is impossible to remove, according to the researchers. Welcome back, everybody. Craig Peterson here on WGAN and, of course, online as well. If you are watching on YouTube or if you want to see some of these articles I'm talking about, I am posting videos now up on YouTube. This week we posted a few on Facebook as well. Hopefully we'll be able to get them all up this week on Facebook as well as YouTube. So how do you find them? Simplest way. Go to craigpeterson.com slash YouTube if you're a YouTube user or craigpeterson.com slash Facebook if you are a Facebook user. You know, some of us like Facebook, some of us don't like Facebook. I use it because of business. There are people on Facebook who are clients and who ask questions. I often will put together these pop-up Facebook groups to address specific problems that people are having or that come up in the, in the news cycle as well. So all of that online at craigpeterson.com. I'm also, we're in the process of changing the website look and feel. We've got the new one laid out, but we don't have it up and active yet. But we should have it up hopefully within the next few weeks. So keep an eye on that too. I think you're going to like it. A lot less confusing homepage than what used to be there. There's just too much stuff on there. So the new homepage has uh, the, a couple of videos from the week, a summary of the articles, so you can click on them and read them and, and watch me as well. And then it has, this is a new feature that we're adding to our newsletter right now. And that is, we have the top security tactics for the week. So the things you need to do. So like this week, as I mentioned at the top of the show, we got a huge Microsoft, huge security problem that the NSA told us about. Homeland Security warned us, warned us about a problem with some of the older releases of Firefox. And so that's the sort of thing. What software is being attacked right now in the wild and what do you need to pay attention to? So that's going to be a new feature of our newsletter as well. So keep an eye out for that. Lots of stuff going on as we get ready for our big training course that's coming up in just a few weeks from now. So keep an eye on your email box because we're finishing up the course and, and I'm going to ask you guys what you think maybe I should add, make sure uh, I have in the course. And I, I'm sure it's going to result in us having to produce a little bit more content than we thought. But the goal is to help you guys understand the security stuff. So be that as it may, hopefully that's all going to work out. Now, this article is something that's just mind-blowing to some people. This is from Forbes magazine. You'll find it at Forbes.com. And of course, I have a link to it on my website as well at CraigPeterson.com. But <clears throat> the, the United States has these programs. You remember all of the bragging people that... Wow, well, I got my Obama phone now that President Obama took over and somehow they figured that it was from him, right? Well, we have had a program for a very long time for people who don't have much income. And I, I remember people with dial, old rotary phones that got free phones. And the idea was that they can be used to call your doctor, to call 911 if something happens a quick call to your family and friends. This was even back in the day when the phone company charged per minute to make a phone call on a landline. So these programs have been around for many, many years. And more recently, they, the government has been giving out to people some of these smartphones. Now, they're usually more limited functions and features, and they're trying to keep the cost of these phones down and keep them simple. But in, in this day and age, I look at it and say, if, hey, listen, if we want people to be able to find jobs, they need a, an online web browser of some sort. So, yeah, I love the idea of giving them a smartphone, you know, providing them. A charity should be doing it. The government is doing it right now. But they should be able to go online and do some shopping. Some of the numbers I've seen out of Africa are amazing to me. Some, some of these charities I've worked with 
who have gone and given phones, even just the basic old phones, you know, with the 10 key pad on it that you can use to, um, what was that called? The T something or other, but you could use to spell out words and websites and it would go there. And they've been giving them those phones and now they're giving them smartphones but they have had some amazing results, particularly with women in Africa, where they were able to build businesses now because they could communicate, right? Capitalism is a terrible, terrible name because the capitalists aren't the ones starting the companies. It's the entrepreneurs. It's the people like you and me. We're the ones creating the companies. We're the ones taking the risks. The capitalists are the guys in the banks who say, yeah, hey, if you don't need the money, we'll loan it to you, right? Those are the capitalists, the people that are buying and selling stocks in these big public companies. Yeah, those are capitalists. But when we're talking about these women in Africa who have been subsistence living for their whole lifetimes, now being able to have a business, where maybe they're making something, selling it online. Maybe they're selling their, their herds of animals, buying herds, cheese, milk, whatever it might be. Those are entrepreneurs. And giving them the tools that they need, like the ability to be able to communicate, is a huge, huge deal. Very, very big. So what are we doing here in the U.S.? Well, you know, for years, these low-income households have been able to get cheap phone service, cheap cell service, and even free smartphones. And, and not even just cheap, sometimes absolutely free, particularly if they are ill, injured, you know, on disability, etc. Well, one provider called Assurance Wireless, you've probably heard of them before, offers a free Android device along with free data free texting, and minutes. Now, this is all in this Forbes magazine article. So it's, that sounds fantastic, right? Smartphones can be expensive. Even if you buy the ones I say, don't, I say don't buy, right? Like the Android phones, they can still be expensive. They can still be $1,000 for some of these phones. It's not a cheap deal at all. But according to some researchers, the article goes on, there's a catch. The Android phones come with a pre-installed Chinese malware, which effectively opens up a back door onto the device and endangers their private data. One of the malware types is impossible to remove, according to the researchers. Now, the researchers here are a company called Malwarebytes. If you have bought one of my courses before, you know Malwarebytes is one of the pieces of software I recommend that you get. It's not perfect, right? But it really helps. Much better than antivirus software, right? Oh my gosh. Did you realize antivirus software today, today is effective against 0% of the newest attacks? 0%, right? So having malware bytes is probably a very good idea. So malware bytes said, that they tried to warn Assurance Wireless, which is a Virgin Mobile company, and Assurance Wireless never got back to them. So the devices that we're talking about here that have even have a back door that looks like it's impossible to remove, those companies are still, or those phones are still out there. Ah, oh, man. So Forbes then, after they found out from Malwarebytes about what was going on, Forbes reached out as well to Assurance Wireless. Nothing happened, okay? And then apparently after the initial publication of this article, a spokesperson for Sprint, which owns Virgin Mobile and Assurance Wireless, said, we are aware of this issue and are in touch with the device manufacturer, Unimax, to understand the root cause. However, after our initial testing, we do not believe the applications described in the media are malware. So there you go. Chinese spying on Android uh, smartphones? Well, that's nothing new. Having your phone coming pre-installed with malware? Hey, didn't we just talk about that a few weeks ago? How the latest releases from some of the major manufacturers of Android come pre-installed with over a hundred vulnerabilities? So again, don't buy Android, period. Anyhow, listen to Craig Peterson. 
I am here on WGAN on online at craigpeterson.com. And we're going to talk about the ring controversy when we get back, so stick around.